Good morning. Uh, welcome to uh, the career guidance uh, seminar, which is happening at Anurag University. We live from Anurag University campus, uh, Hyderabad. I'm Dr. M. Srinivasarao, convener Anurag Set. Glad to be here and happy uh, to stay with you all that we are uh, conducting the series of career guidance uh, the seminars for the benefit of the students. Especially we have been there and guiding the students at various uh, uh, engineering courses. We felt like uh, even there's a lot of demand for the uh, career guidance for the YPC students. So as we received many calls that students started telling that, so what next after YPC? You know, are there any specific uh, courses that we can choose for? But as we know that we had only two choices, like either go for engineering or else go for medicine. But now, you know, there is only limited number of medical seats available and what else if at all if you want to go. So there comes an idea of conducting this uh, session on uh, career guidance cell. What next after intermediate, especially the BIPC students. So now uh, here's the time and we are very uh, happy to be associated with many people and they have come here in order to make the uh, sessions more lively. Uh, we do have YouTube chat. You can type your questions over there. And the people who are present here, they can ask questions directly so that we'll be able to answer them. The queries over here. And before I, I uh, invite today's uh, uh, guest speakers, I would like to say that as a psychologist, I can say uh, no course is the best course, no course is worst course. It's only thing is that how you like it and how you do it and what skill sets uh, are suitable for that particular course. So for any course, if you want to uh, pursue yourself to be happy, uh, there's a saying like, if you have passionate of doing something, love doing it and you don't think of doing some hard work, it is only hard work. I repeat, it is not a hard work, it is a hard work. So if you want to do hard work, then try to choose the uh, profession, uh, the course which makes you feel happy so that it will be easy for you to make your life or to make your career happy. And this decision is very important. Why? Because when unless you take the decision in the right spirit and the skill set, we are not going to be successful in our life. So for this, uh, the most important thing is that we need to have the right attitude in selecting uh, the particular course. And also, don't worry. I, I always tell the people that marks are important, but not as important as uh, anything else in this world, okay? Marks is the, one of the parameters to check one's ability to perform. But apart from that, uh, the passion and the knowledge that you carry yourself is very important. We find certain students who got very good marks, but they have they may not have very good knowledge in that area. Then we find there are certain students who, who have got a little bit okay marks, but still they're, they're okay with the knowledge. So now my question is that we need to analyze ourselves that how about my knowledge levels and passionate levels and the marks, how these three things are, go hand in hand is very important. So now the choice which you're going to make is going to make, it's a life turning point. I still remember my mom saying when I was talking, when I was studying seventh class, you know, she was telling that seventh class, we had common examinations still, I remember. If you don't try to seventh, you, you, you'll face a lot of challenges in life. Then we prepared well and I, I could get through the seventh class uh, flying colors. Then the 10th class examinations have come again. Uh, my mom, again, the same question. Okay, 10th class is very important, public examinations. You need to study well, then only you're going to have a bright future. Then I did my uh, 10th class very well. Then my dad has come now. And then he started telling, intermediate is very important. I was just wondering, no, seventh class I accepted, then 10th class I accepted. Then intermediate, I came to know that lifelong study is important. So then onwards, I never expected somebody to tell me that this is a turning point, ending point, a bending point. Uh, this is a life uh, 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 decision, no, like career making decision and all. But anyhow, whatever you do at every point of time, we need to take decisions effectively. That's the reason uh, today we are going to, uh, we have invited uh, experts like Moti sir and uh, Naran Reddy sir, who's going to talk more about what courses will benefit this BIPC students. Because apart from uh, 
medicine al alone, are there any other courses that are available in the society? And how to take that is very important. So the decision making skill is again left to you. I'm sure that uh, uh, today's experts are going to talk to you about uh, what uh, career options are there, what are the prospects that the student has uh, done by PC, what courses uh, he or she can take and how she can go ahead and achieve the success in their life. Uh, so this uh, career guidance cell, uh, career guidance seminar is going to help you out to take a better informed decisions, I can tell that. See, uh, I request all the uh, viewers, so parents and the students and the teachers, uh, please uh, try to listen to this session with open-mindedness. A fixed mindedness will not allow you to understand what exactly the future and how the course is going to help you out, what are the course that you're going to uh, choose in your life. So with this now, I uh, invite uh, today's uh, guest, uh, uh, Naran Reddy, sir, uh, who has been with us, uh, who worked with uh, Jai Shankar uh, University and was, uh, uh, after super innovation, uh, he worked with uh, Triple IT, has got more than uh, uh, four, and four decades of uh, uh, teaching and research experience. He has got a, a FAO fellow membership at the United Nations. And he has uh, published more than uh, 120 national and international uh, publications at various levels. Uh, uh, now I invite uh, uh, Narendra sir to talk about why uh, agriculture sciences, BS agriculture sciences. As we know that we at Anurag University, we started last year, the first batch has started uh, colorfully and we're doing great job uh, and I, I, whenever I uh, visit the place of uh, agriculture campus, uh, uh, we, it, it's a greenery always everywhere and uh, students are working on the field, uh, students are working in the labs, students are working in the classrooms. Uh, hats off to you, sir, for making the students to be uh, more active and dynamic. Now I invite uh, uh, Narendra, sir, to talk on the prospects of uh, uh, BSc Agriculture Sciences uh, uh, to the uh, viewers. Thank you, sir. We welcome you. Good morning to all of you who have joined physically and also through our online program. And I thank Srinivas for introducing me here. And uh, I welcome all of you who have completed your intermediate with BIPC stream. And I would like to speak before Murthy, sir. There is another speaker who is going to counsel you on all aspects related with the BIPC students, uh, what are the opportunities that are there. Since uh, I'm a man from Agriculture Institute, I would like to talk on the issues or the queries that you had are in your mind. And I would like to clarify what are the opportunities that are there for BS Agriculture. And uh, I would also like to request you, uh, what are the facilities that are there uh, at Agriculture College, Anurag University? And if you are choosing uh, Anurag University, Agriculture College, uh, why you should choose? And uh, I would like to emphasize on these areas. And uh, let me first tell, uh, all of you know, there are a number of jobs that are created in different areas of uh, science or otherwise. For example, engineering. For some days, we have seen that uh, electronics department was on the top. For some years, civil department was on top. Some years now, we have seen MBBS was on top. Everybody was sought after job. So because depending upon the, now computer science is a, a, a more sought after subject. Because uh, in all these areas, uh, there is a ups and downs are there continuously throughout the last uh, two decades, if you observe. And the future, what is going to happen? Every one of us now we are sensing that uh, in the next 10, 15 years, uh, then entire thing is going to be automated and uh, these subjects are going to become obsolete. So now if you look at the agriculture, why you have to choose an agriculture? Agriculture, you know that uh, man cannot live without the food. And uh, there is an ever increasing population and uh, definitely India needs uh, more uh, food production and more agricultural scientists uh, they are uh, agriculture field extension officers than what they are present uh, at this time of uh, year. So this is an evergreen field. 
continuously there will be employment and if you look at the diversity of the employment majority of us are thinking if you are completing a bs agriculture you have to become only an agriculture officer no i will tell what are the avenues that are there for agriculture uh, uh, graduates so there are three areas that you can just uh, think up one is a public sector that is government jobs second is a car government corporations third is a private sector fourth is going abroad fifth is uh, then uh, you have a job of entrepreneurships that you can create so there are various ways of getting employment uh, both publicly and privately now if you look at the list uh, if you look at the list uh, uh, of uh, employment that is available in agriculture employment that is uh, available in agriculture so that uh, first thing is the more more and more graduates are being absorbed now in the banking sector so if you look at the last 40 years also if you are looking at the last 40 years also last 40 years also there is a great number of uh, agriculture graduates have been recruited in the banking sector both public banks that is like bank, state bank of india any bank every bank so there are three kinds of jobs which are of gazetted in nature there are three kinds of job which are of gazetted in nature that includes the uh, rural development officer field officer probationary officers all these officers are there continuously in the case of uh, uh, opportunity for agriculture graduates the second banking sector that is available is the cooperative banking sector cooperative banks so you know that uh, in india there are number of cooperative banks are there at district level and at mandal level at various levels who have the banking sector cooperative banks so you can get employment uh, as a field officers or as a rural development officers so in the banking sector there is a good opportunity then if you come out uh, of that uh, everybody is seeing that uh, the governments are supplying our uh, food material particularly the wheat and rice in the public distribution system so who has mobilizing the who has procuring the uh, food grains food corporation of india so this is a food corporation of india or the civil supplies department or the biggest uh, source of employment for the uh, agriculture graduates you even telangana state or andhra state or throughout the country the food corporation of india employs the agriculture graduates for the procurement of the grains subsequently for their storage and how to store them for a very very one long year and then uh, they, they will be able to supply similarly in each state uh, the quality control officers who are there in the civil supplies uh, are the agri graduates uh, are agri graduates then uh, uh, if you just move away from the these corporations these corporations we have a number of other areas for example horticulture is coming up in a very big way horticulture is coming up in a very big way uh, uh, if you just see the what is the status of horticulture so now india is producing more and more fruits than any country in the world more and more fruits than any country in the world so which require now food processing food processing so fortunately in the telangana state the government of telangana now has sanctioned the food processing hubs has started food processing hubs uh, sanctioned food processing hubs in every district in all the 32 districts so which requires again the large number of agri graduates uh, uh, from uh, different uh, streams to run these uh, agri processing uh, units agri processing units so that's that that's means so in the next uh, coming years uh, there is going to be a lot of demand for agriculture graduates so why do you think that uh, agriculture graduates are going to be in shortage in shortage now you look into the medical seats number of medical seats almost now we got uh, 30 medical colleges that means there are more than 3000 seats are there uh, roughly 4500 seats are there in medical stream medical stream if you look into the telangana state if you look into the telangana state with the increased seats in this year 180 seats have been increased during this current 22 uh, 23 academic year there are total of only 850 seats are there there are total 850 seats are there out of 80 850 seats if you are getting graduated in a year from jay shankar telangana state agriculture university roughly 140 students are going to join post graduate program at jay shankar telangana university itself so that means uh, the number of graduates who are coming out from the university are roughly 700 700 only 700 only even now so 
that's why the telangana state government has realized realized that uh, during the next 10 years there is going to be a likely shortage of agri graduates from this state the, this state and they have permitted or they have sanctioned four universities and permitted them to start uh, the agriculture degree so out of which uh, the anurag university is the one which has gra been granted permission to start uh, as a university and also given a sanction for starting of uh, agriculture uh, bsc course uh, two years back but we did not start uh, two years back because without uh, having the uh, anurag university follows certain standards uh, while entering into the university campus you might have seen so the kind of placements that we had so if you just take the last three years of the performance of this university with regard to the campus placements so this year this year it is 99.4 percent 99.4 percent so almost that everybody got a, an employment two to three jobs are also offered to each candidates many candidates so previous year it, it was 94 percent so like that uh, since we had a uh, very 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 good uh, placement uh, uh, this thing so the placement will not come to any university or to any college uh, if you do not maintain the standards even though some universities that were granted in telangana have started the year on in which they were sanctioned we did not start our college we waited one year we created infrastructure we created infrastructure like the laboratories it is not like engineering college you can purchase computers within overnight so you need to, to construct the laboratories you need to construct the uh, uh, poly houses you need to construct the uh, uh, protected cultivation systems you have to dig bore wells you have to uh, grow the crops for for example fruit crops we have to grow so within 6 months or within 3 months they won't come it they will take at least one year to 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 show to a student in the class so we did in the first year the infrastructure development and then in the second year we have started the college and now it is running with a, a very very good infrastructure very very good infrastructure as per the as per the standards prescribed by the indian council of agriculture research which you call icar as per the icar fifth dean's uh, uh, standards that we have created and uh, i tell to all of you please download please download the icar regulations the icar regulations of fifth dean's committee and you take the print out of the physical facilities that are required to start an agriculture college you can check at our college at any time at any time and to see whether the facilities are better than many colleges that have been started under public sector you you might have understood public sector means even the government colleges we had a beautiful building very excellent uh, farm we have beautiful poly houses and uh, the uh, environment controlled uh, poly houses are also there hydroponic systems are also established we have established a beautiful weather station at our uh, uh, institute so everything that is required for uh, giving a training in the practical classes uh, the uh, strength uh, that is the strength of our uh, agriculture college now the strength of an agriculture college depends uh, predominantly on the faculty who are available so we have most of the faculty more than 75% of the faculty who are there with us are uh, having a doctorate degree phd degree even though they had very little experience of one two years only but uh, all of them are with the phd uh, degree then uh, coming back to the opportunities uh, uh, in the private sector now you know the seed industry is a biggest industry ever growing industry and uh, if some of your parents are, are farmers you know that earlier we used to uh, store our own seed but now every farmer uses a hybrid seed which is continuously produced year after year so now every farmer uh, every farmer is bound to procure seed so seed industry is a very very big industry and telangana is the seed bowl of the country all com companies that are there in this country are present at hyderabad because the weather that is present in the telangana allows allows to produce all types of seed irrespective of the season if the water is available so that's why the seed industry is a very big industry in telangana the entire country seed is produced from here and marketed so you have an opportunity in the seed production areas and you also have an opportunity in the seed marketing the plenty of jobs are there similarly the pesticide industry 
the fertilizer industry, the biopesticide industries, which are coming up because all of you know that organic farming is taking up a, a, a in a going in a big way. So when you have organic farming, the biopesticide industry is gro growing up, and uh, this is also a hub. The Telangana area is also a hub for the organic uh, uh, production and also the bio products uh, production. And uh, you have the opportunities uh, in such areas uh, like pesticides and others. Then the third area, there are number of st students uh, who can become an entrepreneur in agriculture very easily because this is an area where your investment uh, of capital is relatively less in comparison with any industry. So you can become an entrepreneur all by yourself. So you have an opportunity to become an entrepreneur in case of mushrooms, in case of landscaping, you are seeing that uh, a large number of flowers that are being produced from Karnataka and Pune are being exported outside to the Europe and other countries. So we have an opportunity because I said just uh, now, we have the excellent weather, excellent weather, leaving the three months of the summer. So you can produce anything in Telangana state. So that is a great advantage for all of you to become an entrepreneur, either in the mushroom production or in the uh, flower production, or this is a, one of the biggest states where, where an excellent mango can be produced for marketing outside. For example, our neighbors are there in Andhra Pradesh. The mango that is produced in Andhra Pradesh or in any coastal parts of the country, maybe Tamil Nadu, maybe Varissa, maybe Maharashtra, they are, because of the high relative humidity, their fruits are going to be partly infected during the uh, storage and packaging. Such commodities are, are difficult to be exported. But uh, since we are growing uh, our mangoes, uh, typically in the dry environment, our quality of mangoes will be excellent. So you can become an uh, entrepreneur yourself to be an exporter or an entrepreneur of uh, processing of the uh, mango producers uh, in the pulp. So because we don't have any industry in this part of the uh, st uh, state, country, and uh, whatever the processing that is there in case of Andhra only, Andhra it is there. So we have an, a great opportunity uh, to become an entrepreneur in these areas. Areas. Now, if you just look at the uh, some of the few decisions that have been taken here, what is the course that is present? Why Anura College that you have to choose? What is the difference between the course that a BSc agriculture course that is offered by Anurag, how is it different? Just before that, uh, I, I wanted to stress it. Now, what is the area where the artificial intelligence or the IT applications are not there? Can anybody tell? You look in any area, you look in any area, your cell phone, if you are looking uh, about Amitabh Bachchan today, tomorrow all the advertisement pertaining to Amitabh Bachchan only will be shown to you. So AI is coming up in everywhere. And uh, now IoT and AI are the number one areas of research and uh, the implementation of IT in the agriculture sector. Because there is a big volume is there in agriculture if you look into the country. How many farmers are there? Millions of farmers are there. So if they, these technologies are implemented uh, in agriculture, so there is going to be a big growth. The big industries uh, in software like Cisco, Reliance, and big, big very big industries uh, are, have already entered entered into the IT applications in agriculture. And uh, I would like to tell the government of India as uh, uh, in the month of January 22 has permitted the usage of the drones sensors in agricultural uh, operations. And uh, now everybody was thinking government of India has sanctioned. Has anything become commercialized? Has anything become commercialized? So just uh, you press the your uh, news items. Two days back, two days back only, the government of Andhra Pradesh under the leadership of Jagan Mohan Reddy. So they have given 93 drones in Chittur district alone for the implementation of IT related aspects in the agricultural production in Chittur district. So Telangana government also has uh, uh, given permission to use LIDAR technology for crop monitoring, pesticide spraying, and uh, giving the advice to farmers uh, to use of the IT technologies. So within next five years, uh, the number of jobs that will be there in agriculture sector are related to the are related to the IT sector only. IT sector only. Keeping this in view, keeping this in view, the Anurag University, in a complete variation to any of the universities that are existing in this country, 
such kind of education is there only if you are going to either america or in europe where it courses are taught in agriculture we have already introduced in the first year of the last batch it workshop in the second year we have uh, we are giving a training on python language programming and then in the third year second year third semester we are giving the uh, ai and uh, machine learning applications in agriculture and uh, we have give, using the course in the fifth semester on iot applications in agriculture and similarly drone technology and uh, autocad for landscaping now you, you are you are seeing before uh, building an apartment before laying out a, an apartment or the uh, concept you are shown in the photograph the beautiful how lawns are going to come how roads are going to come how your bathrooms are will be like that so autocad area is one area landscaping is coming up in a big way even if you, you might have seen every institute maybe college maybe office maybe an institution everybody wants to have even households now are crazy of landscaping so such landscaping can be depicted to the individuals by using uh, by learning autocad so that uh, you can attract uh, and you can design redesign on the uh, uh, system and then that can be implemented at field level, field level so some of these uh, changes which have been brought uh, are likely to generate uh, a more employment uh, than the pure agriculture graduate uh, in non conventional areas like it industry i will tell one classical example of that has happened recently cisco you might have heard the company cisco has called for the recruitment of uh, ag agriculture graduates with a little uh, computer background so out of 40 posts that they have advertised only one candidate was eligible so that candidate also out of interest uh, he did a certificate certificate course at uh, on data science from iit chennai a correspondence course he has done and he could get selected and placed in a better way so when we talked with the uh, it industry people they were telling that uh, these areas are going to be next five years uh, everywhere an agriculture graduate with it background is required so that's why we have already changed our syllabus in tune to the expecting what is going to happen in the world during the next five to 10 years. So that's why the agriculture college, Anurag University is different from the other conventional agriculture colleges that are existing in this country. Okay, next, uh, uh, I would like to uh, clarify two areas. Everybody is asking, is your college is accredited by Indian Council of Agriculture Research or ICAR? Everybody will get that doubt. Now, I have uh, uh, given you a open uh, statement in the first instance itself. You just go to ICR website, ICAR, ICAR website, and download Fifth uh, Dean's Committee regulations. This, uh, this much volume book, uh, around 500 pages book. So you can see there in that book when the colleges are going to be accredited, whether it is a private college, whether it is a government college, please listen carefully, whether it is a private college or whether it is a government college. For example, for example, now we have an agriculture college located at uh, Sirisilla, uh, the, our uh, uh, IT ministers, KT Ramarao's constituency. So you can see there is an agriculture college that was started three years back by the government of Telangana under the Jay Shankar Telangana State Agriculture University. Now they have completed third year, third year, you can inquire from anybody whether that college has got accreditation or not. It will not be accredited because as per the ICR regulations, as per ICAR regulations, once a college completes the first batch of students, first batch of students, for our college, the students who have joined during 21, 2021 year are the first batch of students. After they pass out, they, we are entitled or any institution is entitled for, accreditation, for applying to the accreditation by the ICAR by the ICAR. Okay, that's the first thing. The first batch of students are exempted from ICAR accreditation because they are going out and by the time the ICAR has not permitted them to apply for accreditation, that's why exemption is given only for first batch. So you people, those who are sitting here, you are going to join this year, you don't have that facility. So before you get graduated, we have to get accreditation. We have to get accreditation. So we have spent a lot, you can come and see our infrastructure, our land in, in and around Hyderabad, what is the cost of the land, you know. So as per ICAR standards, uh, at the present standards, just uh, two months back, uh, we required to maintain 70 acres of land. 
Now the ICAR has reduced the land requirement to 40. We have purchased a total of 70 acres land. Now you can imagine how much of amount we might have spent. So having created so much of infrastructure, if we don't uh, get accreditation, we'll be losing our college and the buildings, everything we have to forego. So don't fear of getting accreditation. First thing, what I request you, if anybody has got any doubt, get those five pages, whether those five page infrastructure is present with, at our college or not. I am openly telling, if anybody tells that check the infrastructure in our college, I will challenge. Any, whether it is a public college, leaving the old colleges which were started 25 years back, like Rajendra Nagar, Ashura Pet, and a few colleges I, I, need, I should not name. If any college shows that all the infrastructure facilities that are prescribed by the ICAR are present uh, even by the day we started the college. That's the strength of Anurag University. That's why we started delayed. Others have started, we delayed by one year to start the college. So we are now completely equipped to run the college. And uh, uh, for BSc Agriculture is a honors is a four years course, four years course. One st every student has to complete uh, 185 credits. And uh, the course curriculum is flexible. So you can choose, you can choose 40 credits. 40 credits of the subjects of your choice from the list that is available. So, uh, for example, if I said that previous, just now, that uh, there is a good opportunity for IT sector in agriculture. So you can choose all your electives, 40 credits. That means uh, six to seven courses in IT sector itself if you are interested to move towards uh, uh, IT type of jobs. So then uh, this degree that is going to be given to you with or without ICAR accreditation, with or without ICAR accreditation, is entitled for you to write an examination of Public Service Commission of Telangana. UPPSC examination you can write for any post, group one or group two or anything. For any employment, this degree is valid. This degree is also valid if you are going abroad and it is valid whether you go to an US or UK or to any country outside India. So you, you need not have to worry. What is that is prohibited if we don't get ICAR uh, accreditation? Only two things are barred in the states of Andhra Pradesh and Telangana. The number one is you are not entitled for the post of agriculture officer or agriculture extension officer. Except to these po two posts in Telangana and Andhra Pradesh, you are entitled for all other government employment opportunities that I have given banks, NABAD, seed industries, uh, uh, cooperative societies, uh, or uh, any other thing. Okay. For going abroad also, there is no restriction on any of those things. So now, uh, just now you, are, you may be looking at the uh, number of modifications that have already been made. And uh, by third or fourth year, by looking into industry requirements, we want to change some more courses related to agriculture where a graduate can be uh, put into an employment. So we are not going to stay with the static syllabus that is prescribed by uh, ICAR, and we are going to con confine to the level that has been prescribed, which is permitted up to 75% of the course we have to keep, 25% of the course we can change. Within that, uh, those limits, we are going to shift the syllabus to make the individual students employable easily. easily. So that's why our curriculum is not, uh, these courses are not there uh, anywhere in any agriculture college uh, in the entire country. So why the entire country has not implemented, why the public sector has not implemented such changes after seeing also the progress of the IT and IoT sectors in the agriculture. So because uh, the problem, the first problem comes in any uh, institution of a public uh, nature or private nature is the availability of the faculty. First thing is availability of the faculty, availability of a laboratory. Now, Anurag University is a very big engineering university. All these courses are being run for exclusively for engineering students. The same faculty and the same laboratories are being used here, even in the first year for IT workshop or another at Agriculture College, Anurag University. So that's why we have got a uh, hidden strength of background of the engineering uh, uh, excellent engineering faculty and excellent uh, laboratory facilities. The same facility is being used to further the employment opportunities for the agriculture graduates at our place. That's why we could make a 
in the first year itself such uh, uh, radical changes uh, in the curriculum so that uh, the students are uh, better placed uh, whether they are in india or when they are going abroad these courses are more uh, required if anybody is uh, moving to outside india particularly in the sectors of uh, uh, modern agriculture because which these all technologies are now implemented in nether europe and the america extensively so they need manpower having a typical agriculture background with the it so that that is the uh, important area where we have changed our syllabus so then uh, we would like to uh, tell one more important thing is and many students have got the uh, option to go abroad so those students who are willing to go abroad we wanted to train them we wanted to train them both in uh, gre examination how to prepare and we will also call some of the uh, faculty who are trainers for gre even though it is not there in our curriculum or syllabus or in examination but to make the students uh, who are aspiring to go abroad so we are going to train them in gmat gre and other uh, requirements that are there so we are having a, a big career guidance cell career guidance cell and uh, uh, individual students uh, are called to the career guidance cell in the second year itself depending upon their uh, interest the students are going to be guided by the faculty uh, uh, what is that is required and what is the extra effort that uh, that individual student has to put so in such a way we are taking the uh, agriculture uh, uh, bsc agriculture honors course at agriculture uh, college anurag university a different version for uh, the successful placement and uh, for a bright future and uh, uh, with a good laboratory and uh, field facilities existing at uh, anurag school of agriculture campus located at gatke sir okay so this is in brief uh, that uh, there are a number of opportunities which does not uh, uh, offer in any single degree a engineering graduate has to go civil engineer civil engineering only bsc agriculture also has got engineering courses not these regular engineering courses civil engineering is also there in agriculture mechanical engineering is also there in agriculture food processing is there as i said telangana is coming up in a big way we are also going to start uh, next year a food processing college at our campus bsc agriculture college campus so we are going to start new courses in horticulture food processing and landscaping so they are going to come up and that campus will be lively and it will be wholesome in a very short uh, and near future thank you okay so you you can you can uh, uh, see the uh, number of uh, Uh, job opportunities for agriculture graduates because some of them i have not uh, uh, told so these are all areas and uh, the best thing is those who wants to write uh, civil services those who want to write civil services agriculture is the best course because it deals with economics it deals with sociology it deals with engineering it deals with biotechnology it deals with environment and agriculture and there is a less competition only agriculture graduates can opt these courses there will be less competition for the uh, candidates who are choosing the agriculture and uh, many of the ias and uh, IPS, ips officers who are there from agriculture background they are excelling because they have come from the grassroots understanding the entire spectrum of the society that's why they are more successful wherever they are so you do mbbs you have only mbbs doctor job you do civil engineering you have only civil engineering job you do llb you have only law job now you look at the jobs that are there in different areas for agriculture graduates you can look at and uh, without these things uh, the society will not sustain irrigation industry pesticide industry fertilizer industry food production food storage food processing you are seeing that uh, every day all the foods that are coming are processed or stored foods only so these are all uh, the areas where you can get uh, employment quarantine all quarantine stations are equipped with the agriculture graduates only they are specified for agriculture graduates only because any commodity if you want to import or export 
so uh, at all the ports are at the both the sea ports and airports you need agriculture graduates you can sit sir thank you very much uh, naranet sir it was a wonderful presentation can you give a round of applause for naranet sir who made things happen always you uh, know i was just wondering what naranet sir is going to talk about agriculture uh, sciences you now we said that uh, generally people say that sky is the limit but you said that mind is only the limit uh, so the many opportunities that are available a field iskuna kuda aa field lo agriculture uh, students ek avasaram unda anese the government gaachu private sector kaachu plus adbhutamaina undi amsham meer cheppinatuga icar syllabus ni manam follow avutunnam anese ఇందులో అందరూ గుర్తుంచుకోవాల్సిన అంశం ఏంటంటే లేటెస్ట్ టెక్నాలజీ ఏదైతే చేంజ్ చేయగలిగినటువంటి ఆ సిలబస్ లో కూడా ఐఓటి కావచ్చు ఐఏఎంఎల్ ఈ అగ్రికల్చర్ బేస్డ్ అప్లికేషన్స్ కావచ్చు తర్వాత ఐటీ పైథాన్ లాంటి కోర్సెస్ కూడా ఇంట్రడ్యూస్ చేసి ఈ స్టూడెంట్స్ ని నెక్స్ట్ జనరేషన్ కి అంటే ఎంప్లాయబిలిటీ స్కిల్స్ పెంచడానికి వాళ్ళు ప్రైవేట్ సెక్టర్ కావచ్చు గవర్నమెంట్ సెక్టర్ కావచ్చు వాటితో పాటు ఆంధ్రప్రదేశ్ కూడా తయారు కావడానికి ఎంతో దోహదం ఇస్తాయి స్టార్ట్ చేసి వన్ ఇయర్ అయినప్పటికీ ఆల్రెడీ వాళ్ళు అనేక ఎక్స్పెరిమెంట్ చేస్తూ నాకు తెలిసి రైస్ వెరైటీలో ఐరన్ ఇచ్చినటువంటి రైస్ వెరైటీని పెంచినారు ఆ ప్యాడీని మొత్తం తయారు చేసిన తర్వాత రైస్ ని ఇక్కడే మన యూనివర్సిటీలో ఉన్నటువంటి ఫ్యాకల్టీకి సేల్ చేయడం ఇక్కడ బీబీఏ ఎంబీఏ స్టూడెంట్ దాన్ని మార్కెట్ చేయడము ఒక సైకిల్ ని ఏ విధంగా అగ్రికల్చర్ ప్రోడక్ట్ ని ఎట్లా ప్రొడ్యూస్ చేయాలి చేసిన తర్వాత దాన్ని ఎలా మార్కెట్ చేయాలి మార్కెట్ చేస్తే దాని వల్ల వచ్చే ఛాలెంజెస్ ఏంది ఎలా ఫేస్ చేయాలి అనేది స్టూడెంట్స్ ద్వారానే రన్ చేస్తున్నారు ఎవ్రీ వెన్స్డే వీ డూ రన్ ఏ మార్కెట్ అట్ అనురాగ్ యూనివర్సిటీ విత్ ద ప్రొడ్యూస్ ప్రొడ్యూస్డ్ బై ది స్టూడెంట్స్ ఆఫ్ అగ్రికల్చర్ సైన్సెస్ థ్యాంక్ యూ వెరీ మచ్ సార్ థ్యాంక్స్ అలాట్ అది కాబట్టి మీరు ఇవి అన్ని కూడా దృష్టిలో ఉంచుకొని అగ్రికల్చర్ సైన్సెస్ అనేది ఒక అద్భుతమైనటువంటి కోర్సు ఆ కోర్స్ లో జాయిన్ అయినట్లయితే ఎన్ని అవకాశాలు ఉంటాయి అనేది మనం చూసాము uh thank you uh, sir now we'll go ahead with the next uh, the career uh, expert who has been well known in the uh, career development uh, society he is none other than the our uh, beloved chief guest today guest speaker sir pv rk murthy sir uh let's all invite pv rk murthy sir uh, can you all clap together sir is available online uh it's my privilege to introduce uh, pvr k muthi sir he is a veteran scholar in physics has trained many students to all kinds of entrance examinations for more than 3 decades through his mesmerizing teaching skills in corporate colleges apart from the aforesaid excellence he has proven himself as an able administrator by establishing sri gayatri educational institutions mr muthi is rendering his services to the students community through the valuable articles career guidance programs on je advance je mains bitsat msat medical and engineering and print and electronic media mr muthi a visionary academician always foresees and incorporates advanced teaching technology methods in the field of uh, education his sharp vision into the educational needs of students and high uh, his exceptional propensity aided his to design the integrated academic programs like icc mcc sgl etc that paved the way of enama students to secure top ranks in iits nits msat aims jipmer afmc etc uh, we are very happy sir uh, to uh, be associated with you and uh, for your uh, valuable time because you have been busy all the time and you have been rendering your service for the student community especially in guiding them so that there is no confusion persists in the minds of the people by pc jesamu neat lo naaku me rank raaledu em cheddam ante na life akkadto na full stop a comma na murthy gar eppudu antaru life is only a journey no we have to go on and see that what best can be done now sir is going to talk about uh, బైపిసి చేసిన తర్వాత ఎటువంటి ఆపర్చునిటీస్ మనకు ఉంటాయి ఏ కోర్సెస్ చేయొచ్చు ఏ కోర్సెస్ చేస్తే ఎటువంటి ప్రాస్పెక్ట్స్ ఉంటాయి మనకు ఒక్క అగ్రికల్చర్ సైన్సెస్ కోర్స్ లోనే అద్భుతమైన అవకాశాలు ఉన్నాయనేసి మనం పబ్లిక్ సర్వీస్ దగ్గర నుంచి స్టేట్ కావచ్చు సెంట్రల్ కావచ్చు తర్వాత ప్రైవేటు పబ్లిక్ ఏ సెక్టర్ లోనే ఎట్లా ఉన్నాయనేది మనకి నాన్నెట్ సార్ చెప్పినట్టుగా ఇప్పుడు మనకి మూర్తిగా సార్ ఈస్ గోయింగ్ టు టాక్ అబౌట్ వాట్ నెక్స్ట్ ఆఫ్టర్ ఇంటర్మీడియట్ బైపిసి
Uh, I now I invite uh, Murthy sir to talk to the viewers. Welcome to you, sir. Good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. <laughs> I think you are very happy to be a member with all of you. So, brother, by seeing the speech of Narendra sir, I think we need to learn a lot regarding the education, particularly in the agriculture sector. So, because the this is the field which we were expecting for quite a long time, and of course, in the private sector, once if we get the this type of uh, the agriculture course and all, I hope in near future the student who is opting for biology course or BPC during their plus one plus two stage, definitely they will have a very bright future. So generally, if you try to observe the trend in the previous years or rather last four years, if you try to take. The need when they have introduced this uh, competitive examination or a only one examination for all by PC students with that concept when they have started. Initially, the number used to be around eight to eight point five lakhs. So from eight to eight point five lakhs, it has raised to eighteen point seven three lakhs. That means, uh, so I, I hope we can understand what is the growth rate that is happening towards the biology side than when compared with the engineering side. So, in engineering stream, if we try to take it was earlier 13.5 lakhs. From 13.5 lakhs, it has gone down to something like 8.5, 8.6 lakhs this year. So that means a huge demand is happening towards the biology sector. So that way, the children who have opted relatively when compared with the MPC, the biology se sector wise, most of the children what they will be assuming is. MPC is a royal group. That's why once if they complete the plus two with MPC, they will be having number of opportunities. But if you try to see the type of opportunity that we are having, whatever may be the opportunities that an MPC student is going to have, more than that, the biology student is also going to have the better opportunities, right? An engineering student immediately within that four years, he may not get the word as DR doctor in front of his name. But whereas this uh, the person who is doing with the biology stream, he is capable of getting the engineering B.Tech agriculture nowadays it has been introduced. So he will be getting that engineering within the same stipulated period of the four years. So that means the opportunities, even when compared with the MPC also for day to day, the opportunities that we are going to have for the BPC student are enormous. So that's right. The children, I think, if they can have a smart I think earlier when Srinivas Gar was speaking about this. So hard working, hard working, he said, right? Definitely. In a planned manner, I think if a student can try to do the work with passion, I think uh, the sky is the only limit for their growth. So particularly in the new streams, if the children are coming and if they try to excel in that particular area, definitely the uh, way in which they can lead their life is going to be much better. And uh, with the speech of Narendra sir, I think it might be very clear to most of the children that engineering can be used in agriculture also. So, particularly in IT sector also, what the people are searching is with the core group IT background, with the core group in the sense like a civil engineer with IT background. Similarly, an agriculturist with ID background. So that way, I think if we can have definitely the the opportunities for the children is going to be very, very, very high. So like uh, the my concern, uh, rather the present program to me is just only discussing about the opportunities of 12th. So what are the opportunities that if we try to see? So in this one. So uh, I think rather if you try to take the career guidance, uh, the program only after, after this uh, 12th class, what is it if you try to check? So the main aspect is for the PCP students, like uh, once you try to join in the plus one, plus two, or rather during the 11th standard, when they join, when they take the PCB, that is biology, chemistry, and physics, if they take to take the option. Immediately, the mindset of any child is going to be the medical alone. So once if we say that the medical alone, the opportunities like the number of students that are appearing and the number of students who can go into this particular state, if we can see what are the opportunities that we have, I think rather we can understand clearly what should be the way in which we need to travel. So and one more thing what the student need to understand is 
like whatever may be the career option that we are going to try to take in the top 5% or top 6% then only you were the like uh, the goal final the goal set that we are going to keep you can reach it in a perfect manner so one or other be a man as the last person in the first class instead of that always try to be a first person in the second class that's always a better opinion in the form of uh, any psychologist like uh, i think rather if you want to get a self confidence about yourself i think first thing what we what we should need is we should be in the top 5% like the career options for bbc students to try to check the options that generally the way in which they divide is these are the four ways that they try to see that is most of the children are rather every child that you want to take during their plus one stage about the bbc their main concern is entering into the medical colleges that may be concerned with the medical or bds that is dental so about this they will go then next is allied medical courses mostly we can call it as nowadays as oish courses then the next is coming to be agriculture and animal husbandry and the next part is research and integrated courses and other courses like this so these are the major career options that you can have when you think about the career options only for bbc students so now if i take one by one so this uh, medicine we try to take medicine as per se this is a uh, allopathy comes under mbbs and bds and uh, oish courses mainly they are ayurvedic homeopathy unani and naturopathy so these are the courses which we say that like for the child in front of his name he will be getting the doctor with this but when you try to take this allopathy and indian medicine this oish courses if you take majority of the children they are preferring only with respect to either mbbs or bds so this mbbs or bds if we try to take what are the number of colleges that we have and how many seats that we have throughout india we see so across india total we have around 612 colleges which will be providing the mbbs degree and in aims with the new aims started in recent times almost we have the total 20 aims and the gypma there are two gypmas and uh, dental colleges around uh, 370 and oish courses and others we have around 915 colleges but mostly the our concern is our most of the children where they are focusing much is with respect to the first three colleges that is mbbs in the state government or the university colleges other than that the first priority is aims in gypma that's how they are trying to say so leaving aims in gypma total of the 612 medical colleges we are having approximately 91927 seats approximately a lakh i can say 91927 seats are available in mbbs and in aims nearly 2044 seats are available and in gypma both the colleges together we have in this ug our under graduation we are around 249 seats so for this the uh, approximately <coughs> 93000 of seats approximately the number of students right for the examination just now i told you that this year in 2022 nearly <coughs> so something like uh, 16.73 lakhs of students wrote this examination means approximately the success rate wise if we want to speak maybe 5% to 6% is the only success rate that's what i told you in the beginning also generally for any course that we are opting the if you are want to have the success you should be with the first 5% after getting the selection also again when you want to be in the first 5% then only there will be a future course because this first 5% again going into the post graduation and other parts also it will happen that's why try to keep always that common rule of you have to be in the top 5% then the after this mbbs and bds courses the next part uh, uh, this mbbs bds itself we try to take only in telangana and andhra pradesh so both uh, the government as well as the private minority institutes also we try to take in telangana in government medical colleges we have approximately 1846 and in the private we have 3200 seats 
total comes to be 5040 medical seats are available in the state of Telangana. And in Andhra Pradesh, we have 12 government medical colleges in which you have 2485 seats and in private and Maharashtra together, 18 colleges are there. And in that 2850 seats are there, approximately 5300 seats are available in Andhra Pradesh. But the students here are having some doubt. A student who has done in Telangana, is he eligible to go for a seat in Andhra Pradesh? Or a student who is doing in Andhra Pradesh, is he eligible to do the uh, MBBS in Telangana? For that, the answer is yes, because the State Division Act has just going to continue for 10 more years from 2014 to 2024. That way, up to 24, the as per the old law, in three universities area only, it will happen. For Telangana, for Usman University children, they will be having 84% of the seats and the remaining 15% of the quota will be for both the SV University and Andhra University region. Similarly, in Andhra Pradesh, either in SV region or in the Andhra University region, the Usman University region will have a reservation of 15%. So that's how these students can go over there and other part of the students also can reach this particular point. So both the states together, we have approximately 11,000 of seats for which the MBBS course is happening in both the states. And for this 11,000 of states, approximately both the states together, 1.5 to 1.6 lakhs of students are attending this, uh, the NEET examination. And the next is after the MBBS, the other where most of the students are preparing is with respect to the dental. So BDS seats, if you take it, we have in Telangana only one government medical college which is having 100 seats, an army dental college which is in Sikandarabad, one college having 40 seats, and in private dental college we have 30, total together around 1040 seats are there in private medical colleges. Together we have around 1180 BDS seats are available in Telangana. Similarly, in Andhra Pradesh, two government medical colleges are there. Both together, they have around 140 seats and total 14 private dental colleges are existing in Andhra Pradesh and in that around 1330 seats are available. So total together, 1470, 1470 uh, the dental seats are available in the both the, uh, sorry, in Andhra Pradesh alone. So together, both the states approximately even this dental seats, we have around 2005. That is, Medical and dental together, we have 13 to 13,500 are available in the both Telangana as well as Andhra Pradesh, for which I can say the of the total applicants, maybe 8 to 10 percent of the students are getting admission either in MBBS or BDS. Next part, if you try to take after BDS, MBBS, BDS, if you try to take so after BDS. What, is, what are the courses that we need to travel that's becoming a big question mark with majority of the students. So nowadays, some of the students are opting in one direction, like uh, what they're assuming is, why can't we think about the allied medical courses like uh, physiotherapy, nursing, pharmacy, so BOT, medical lab technology, paramedical courses, biomedical engineering, forensic side. This, that's how they are the, they are trying to move either for undergraduation or diploma courses in this type of allied medical courses. In addition to this, the next part in which the students are trying to move is like agriculture and animal treatment. So again, the option is, shall we have to give more weightage for agriculture and animal husbandry or to the other thing that is the allied courses that we tend to see. I feel that the, even the trend of the ranks that is happening earlier or even present state also generally how the children are opting. Of course, they are correct in their particular in their area also in opting the courses that way. Like one thing is they will be opting for MBBS, BDS. After MBBS, BDS, next option where majority of students are trying to do is the BBS, that is uh, animal husbandry. So veterinary sciences, a, a huge demand is there. I think rather as earlier Narendra sir spoke about this particular line, the deficiency of the employees is coming only in this particular sector. 
in helmet uh, this bbsc graduates of heavy tech uh, i think either in india the graduates who are going to get the government job immediately after the completion of the course which is a first course if you can ask the first answer any any one of us can say that it is animal husbandry that is bbsc after that the most prompted course is agriculture bbs so after mbbs bds my opinion also is that so the children need to think about the bbsc as well as that is veterinary science as well as agriculture bsc these are the two very important areas where they can make a better impact like once if you try to take this type of courses the opportunities are again infinity i can say so uh, that's why in to mcc if you try to see the most opted course are going to be these are the things that is either bbsc or agriculture bsc then we have the farm science home science dairy technology fisheries poultry sericulture btech in food technology nutrition so these are the some of things and these seeds are filled through either mcet and icar of course icar will fill only in the government colleges in the private sector i think it will be done in the other way through mcet and the other examinations so in agriculture courses for bbsc students to take they have bsc honors agriculture bsc honors horticulture uh, bachelor of fishery sciences bachelor <coughs> forestry uh, community science bsc and food nutrition and dietics bsc honors in sericulture btech biotechnology bsc honors agriculture and bsc honors horticulture these are the some of the courses where the children are trying to opt with respect to the agriculture course for bbsc students and uh, this agricultural veterinary seeds also protect tech uh, i think uh, just now narendra reddy sir also spoke about the number of seeds available in agriculture or there are only seven colleges in which you have 672 things and in andhra pradesh there are 11 colleges and of which 884 seeds are available in agriculture but whereas veterinary in telangana there are only three colleges in andhra pradesh there are only five colleges and uh, in telangana in veterinary 174 seats and in andhra pradesh 266 horticulture also in the same so now if you try to see the seat matrix over here so mostly in veterinary and agriculture if you try to say relatively agriculture seats are more but both veterinary as well as agriculture the number of seats available and the number of uh, the members required for the society is definitely much less because earlier for the private sector opportunity has not been given to start the colleges with respect to agriculture as well as veterinary it's not that they are not given the problem is as the earlier narendra sir was telling so agriculture university requires some 70 acres 80 acres or 90 acres that way if you want to do i think rather it's going to be a very difficult task one more thing is they have to wait for some time to get the proper results in, form, in the form of the infrastructure development and all so because of it there is a gap so with all these things i think uh, uh, if you try to push forward so this uh, the of, of course earlier uh, sir was also telling to you about the uh, icar indian council of agriculture research so this one is the body which is going to give the permission for agriculture colleges and also in addition to that it will be the conducting one examination every year based on that also the a part of the seats will be filled in some of the government colleges i can say 15% of the seats almost all the government colleges are going to be filled through this icar examination so this is about the overall what are the competitive parts that are happening for the uh, the students so <coughs> this in a, as a quick part just i will show you what are the different things then i will continue with this so these are the things that are the uh, available for the children for doing after plus plus 2 what could be the course that they can like as we are thinking 
top 6% of the children will be opting for the medical course or dental together. Of course, they will be entering into the medical colleges. Then the next part is next 4% or 5%. If you tell, they will be opting for the different areas. The different areas, allied courses, as well as agriculture, and this part is coming. But as we have the number of seats are very less, of the total applicants, hardly what we are seeing is one or two percent of the members only they are in a position to enter into the professional colleges, agriculture professional colleges or veterinary professional colleges. So keeping this in mind, my opinion is when there is an opportunity for the child to go ahead with the other part, there's uh, the, like other part in sense, like for their career growth, what could be the options as they have in a better way. Uh, I think opting in that particular is always better. The reason is like from Telugu states, if you assume that 1.5 lakh or 1.6 lakhs of students have appeared for the NEET examination or rather MC together in both the states, they appeared for 1.5 lakhs and if you can put it. So of these students, around 6% of the students are joining both either in the medical or dental. Right, because uh, almost nine ten thousand students are there. Both in the government, more than the parivel man the pillu accredit out na. Tharwa the remaining one hundred forty thousand students, like one lakh forty thousand students, in jail in the parent day. Chala varu society ayo naathu je tham the in the parent day. Go ahead with the long term long term in the parent. But the thing is, before opting for the long term course or any other course, first what the child needs to understand is. What is my capability of repeating the exam? Generally, may we take a look at the observation system to stay. When the student is writing for the first time, his sharpness is going to be very good. That means, manaki need to go to the website to go to top ten ranks which in the pillar to school to stay. While the long term to our repeat just in the pillar letter on the narrow. Direct intermediate to which level level man do not have any parent. That up to you think who is that man? The so direct intermediate to us. And the sharpness is going to be uh, very good once if they are writing or making that as a first attempt. The second attempt to which it is pretty. While one kind of gap to the another kind of identify just to that gap. The work a long term low student to improvise out and come out as. Yet the work improvise out and come out as. And you can agree to stay maximum to maximum if you assume the child what could be the area to which he can improvise in different and a path rank t manaki one eight to work to make improvise out on a key how does and a blue that are key at an key one eight and your parent a manaki at the moon okay and a very well rank which they put for the well rank was there and a piano very well rank which in the student to work a book to thousand अवकाश फस्ट अटे इंटर्मीडियट का फस्ट लांग टर्म लक्स रेट उठी बट दि बेस्ट यांक्स मन रा सो अच्छे मन की अटे फस्ट लांग टर्म आई तरह से सैकंड लांग टर्म थर्ड लांग टर्म गुरी मन माटे ई थिंक रेदर आ चिल्रन अंत पात पोजिशन दादापू मेटीन तपिचि सो मे बी स्ट्रैंकली अप अं डाउन बट यांक अब नार्मल इंप्रोवेशन लेंक हाफ अव दाने दृष्टि पिल मोदी मन यांक वो बेटर मेडिकल कॉलेज वीटते वो रे रिपीट वाल निज्ञा लाभ अनेटिमेटे रिनी फील दट कैन गेट थ्रू इट यो हेड विदूँ को बेटर आपशन एक्नाई दूसरे ना ओपीनियन बाल्कि स्टूडेंट की The best possible option is with respect to this agriculture only, because while kunchi jagrat ka kaspar just to us the, the like if you take the BPC this kuntaro, BPC this kunaro, ananengane student lo a kaspar de tato chale tugum, 
సో దానివల్ల మీరు చూసుకుంటూ వస్తే రీసెంట్ ఇయర్స్ లో మనం జాగ్రత్తగా చూసుకుంటూ వస్తే సివిల్ సర్వీసెస్ లో కూడా సక్సెస్ రేట్ బాగా ఎక్కువగా ఎక్కడ వస్తుంది అని చెప్పారంటే ఎదురు విత్ బిబిఎస్సి ఆర్ అగ్రికల్చర్ బిఎస్ వీళ్ళు చేసిన ఈ బ్యాక్గ్రౌండ్ ఉన్న వాళ్ళు చాలా ఎక్కువగా వస్తున్నారు రీజన్ ఏంటి అని చెప్పారంటే మై స్ట్రాంగ్ ఒపీనియన్ ఇస్ ఆ పిల్లల్లో మేబీ బికాస్ ఆఫ్ దట్ సబ్జెక్ట్ ఆర్ ఆల్ కష్టపడే తత్వం అనేది మొదటి నుంచి బాగా ఎక్కువగా ఉంది సో ఈ కష్టపడే తత్వం ఎప్పుడైతే ఏర్పడుతుందో అగ్రికల్చర్ సైడ్ వెళ్ళి జాగ్రత్తగా మీరు అనుకున్న ప్రోగ్రామ్ ప్రకారం వస్తున్న టెక్నాలజీ ఏంటి అన్న దగ్గర మీరు అర్థం చేసుకుని ఆ వైపున మీరు మీ కెరీర్ ని ప్రాపర్ గా ప్లాన్ చేసుకోగలిగితే ఐ థింక్ డెఫినెట్లీ యూ విల్ బి హ్యావింగ్ ది బెస్ట్ ఫ్యూచర్ సో ఐ విష్ టు ఆల్ ది చిల్డ్రన్ ఆల్ ది బెస్ట్ సో దిస్ ఇస్ ది డిఫరెంట్ వేస్ ఆఫ్ అంటే మనకున్న కెరీర్ ఆప్షన్స్ కొంచెం ఆ స్లైడ్స్ కాస్త ఫాస్ట్ గా మూవ్ చేసిన విత్ ఇన్ లిమిటెడ్ అవైలబుల్ టైమ్ మీకు అంతా చెప్తాను ఇన్ కేస్ ఇఫ్ యూ హ్యావ్ స్టిల్ డౌట్ ఎనిథింగ్ ఆఫ్ దిస్ ఆర్ ఐ థింక్ మీరు చాటింగ్ లో కానీ లేదా ఇప్పుడు మీరు ప్రెజెంట్ చేసినా కూడా ఐ థింక్ డెఫినెట్లీ విల్ బి ఆన్సరింగ్ దోస్ డౌట్స్ టు యూ సో వన్స్ అగైన్ ఐ విష్ ఆల్ ది చిల్డ్రన్ ఆల్ దిస్ థ్యాంక్ యూ థ్యాంక్ యూ వెరీ మచ్ సార్ ఇట్ వాస్ వండర్ఫుల్ session uh, where you gave a lot of clarity about you know, what are the areas that they need to focus and how they can make things happen and especially medicine okate kadu chaala avakashalu unnai andlo categorize ga meer cheppinatuga medicine dental tarvata aish unnatvante courses vaatho paatu horticulture kavachu veterinary kavachu forestry kavachu fisheries kavachu ante there is uh, no limit only medicine ante only medical medicine chestane mbbs aithene option unde ani kaakunda chaala options unnai ana vishayanni chaala kulankishanga prathi okariki artham ayya vidhanga andulo kuda entha percentage success rate untundi anedi plus chaala mandi doubt endante naaku ipudu raaledu kabatti nen next long term diskunte baaguntundi emo ane aalochana unna vallaku kuda meer entha varaku scope untundi improvisation ane daniki clarity icharu Uh, if there are still any uh, doubts are there just we'll uh, ask the questions sir, so that you can answer us uh, i request dan let's sir also to join into the days uh, uh, any other queries from the audience over here so chaala mandi anedi agriculture sciences anedi koncham kashtamainadi ammayalaku suitable avutunda adantho kuda enda tho kodukuna pani polam panil cheyadam anedi kashtam kada అనవంటి పేరెంట్స్ ఎక్కువ అడుగుతుంటారు సార్ ఈ క్వశ్చన్ నారాయణ రెడ్డి సార్ ఓవర్ టు యూ హలో ఓకే అగ్రికల్చర్ బిఎస్ అన్నప్పుడు వెదర్ ఇట్ ఈస్ ఏ టఫ్ కోర్స్ హార్డ్ కోర్స్ ఆర్ ఫిజికల్ వర్క్ ఉంటుంది ఆడపిల్లలకు ఇబ్బంది అని అంటే ఇఫ్ యూ లుక్ ఇన్ ఎనీ అగ్రికల్చర్ కాలేజ్ ఇన్ దిస్ కంట్రీ సిక్స్టీ టు సిక్స్టీ ఫైవ్ పర్సెంట్ ఆఫ్ ది స్టూడెంట్స్ ఆర్ గర్ల్స్ నౌ ఇఫ్ యూ లుక్ ఇన్ ఎనీ అగ్రికల్చర్ కాలేజ్ ఇంక్లూడింగ్ అవర్ కాలేజ్ ది ఫస్ట్ ఇయర్ స్టూడెంట్స్ ఆర్ సిక్స్టీ ఫైవ్ పర్సెంట్ ఆఫ్ దెమ్ ఆర్ గర్ల్స్ అండ్ థర్టీ ఫైవ్ పర్సెంట్ ఆఫ్ దెమ్ ఆర్ బాయ్స్ అండ్ ఇఫ్ యూ లుక్ ఇన్ ఎంఎస్సి అగ్రికల్చర్ ఎంఎస్సి అగ్రికల్చర్ ఎనీవేర్ because in most of the classes uh, girls are topping and uh, msc almost 80% of them are girls if you move just uh, higher in phd almost 90% of them are girls if you look at the faculty now during last 10 to 15 years uh, almost 95% of the faculty were selected as girls so working hard working in the field everything uh, will be there uh, in agriculture so the scientist has to go even after becoming a faculty you need to go to field you have to get exposed to sunlight and it improves your health thank you majority of the youth and majority of the public currently they don't have physical fitness when you lack physical fitness your mental sharpness will decline why our agriculture background civil service servants who are there as a chief secretaries of andhra pradesh and telangana are the best chief secretaries that were there in this country country or agriculture background because uh, they are down to earth approach to the practical issues that are there in the society so hard work will be there until unless you work hard both physically and mentally the progress will not be there so it is not very hard uh, uh, to sustain because uh, some of you might have been 
in the urban areas, urban areas, you might have not been exposed to so much of sunlight, but within a semester or two, you get ad adapted. And now many of the uh, protective gear also is there for eyes, for skin, for head. Now things are there. Students can bring those things and can uh, sustain the adverse uh, weather conditions that will be there with the agriculture system. So it's not very difficult. It's not. It will be difficult, but it's not very difficult. So I, as I said, the statistics are showing last 20 years predominantly it is girl dominated uh, education. And uh, I have forgotten to tell uh, while uh, uh, my presentation, Mati, presentation. Now, earlier, the seed companies, the pesticide companies, the private sector never used to prefer the girls in their employment, thinking that uh, they will not be able to go to the field, they will not go to the, that research firm, this research firm, as easily as uh, the boys can do. Now, majority of the girls are able to drive the scooters. And uh, now the seed industry has started employing the girl students both in crossing programs, seed processing uh, programs, packaging and sending, laboratory data, all internal uh, evaluations, uh, the faculty are girls only. Girls only. So in this earlier society, also we have seen that uh, girls were not moving out for employment very easily. Now everybody is moving both. 24 hours, uh, the high-tech city people uh, are moving. So it's not very difficult. Any, any, any other query related with the uh, program? I have a question about clarity. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Most of the jobs in public sector, I have not told. There are a number of jobs in the public sector, that means in government, beyond agriculture officer and AEO, Hello. for which if ICAR accreditation is not there, you are not entitled. But all other jobs that are there in the public sector, like banks, NDDB, NAM, or research area, uh, agencies, civil supplies, uh, and uh, in uh, FCI, these are all public sector companies only. In all these areas, you are eligible. How, how uh, Anurag University is going to facilitate uh, for getting the employment uh, in those areas? First thing, the Honorable Chief Minister of Telangana, Sri K. Chandrasekhar Garo, has done a great job to the farmers of this state in two sectors, both in irrigation and employment. The Telangana government has recruited largely in two sectors only, that is agriculture and the police. Police. So almost all the, uh, if anybody is there from rural area, you can inquire in your mandal. Every mandal is filled now with uh, out of four to five posts that are existing in each mandal, three to four posts are already filled in. And uh, the AEOs are in the age group of 19 to 21 years. years. So by the time they retire, it will be 40 years from now onwards. So the number of employ employment opportunities as an agriculture officer and AEOs are less for the current graduates. In any industry, in any uh, subject, the employment is 10 times more than the public sector in the private sector only. So in agriculture, the private sector is going to flourish, flourish, flourish. Why? Because agriculture is not going to be stopped. So area is shrinking, population is increasing, but the productivity is increasing in spite of the shrinkage of the uh, uh, land and cultivated area because technology is being used in agriculture, uh, improved technologies are being used in agriculture, in biotechnology, in tissue culture, in uh, IoT applications, by using of sensors, by using of drones, everywhere, by using of tractors, by using of pump, everywhere now you are using a technology. So that is facilitating and providing uh, more employment in the private sector than in the public sector. So if anybody is preparing for a competitive examination, that is a uh, public service commission examination, they have to write. Uh, yeah, Telangana public service commission examination, they have to write. Uh, for others, for others, uh, we can do one, uh, uh, we are going to do one thing is, so there is a career council guidance cell is there with us. 
So the students, how to approach an interview, how to prepare for, a, for an interview. So what are the likely questions that are being done? How a mock test will be conducted with us? So that will facilitate the individuals to face the interviews better than the other candidates. So for most of the jobs, now a written examination is there. After written, there will be an interview. So the interview component will be doing. I said that we are also going to give a coaching for GMAT and GRE, uh, the students who are aspiring to go abroad. We are going to sort out the students from second year itself, making them into groups. One group is those who want to go to into IT sector related with agriculture. The other sector who is, wants to go to seed industry. The other sector who wants to go to pesticide or other industries. And the other sector, those who want to become an uh, entrepreneur. You might have seen uh, while running that uh, uh, PowerPoint presentation. We are only in the second semester of the first year of our college. Already we have entered, already we have entered into collaboration with the four private companies who are conducting their who are conducting their research at our farm and our students are participating. And if uh, our students uh, who have worked with their technology already in the from the first year itself, so definitely when they go for an interview in such a company our students will be well placed than other students, thereby the opportunity for employment will be increased. And I am telling to you, by the time they come to third year, where the students are going to be placed to work with the industry, we will have definitely for the first batch, not less than 30 industries. Already in the first semester itself, we have entered with four industries. They are conducting their research program. Our students are participating. Our students are also making visit to their uh, uh, sites right from the first year. So that our approach is to take the students where an opportunity is there, learn from the uh, uh, company or industry. You might have seen uh, just uh, four days or five days back, uh, University Grants Commission has permitted, you can see in the news, four days back, uh, just you press. So uh, has permitted to employ for maximum of three years, the persons who are working in industry as faculty in the universities. So that means we need not follow the conventional rule of recruitment. You have, should have a PhD, you should have MSc, five publication, one publication, no publication. Straight away now, an industry expert can be appointed as a faculty to teach either part-time or full-time in our universities, which is now recognized. Yesterday only, they have also issued the guidelines who is a person who can be employed from the private industry. So uh, after seeing that news by the University Grants Commission, we have called the Sahasra Industries, a bioproduct and uh, what do you call a micronutrient producing company. And we have invited their faculty to begin to take a, a classes from next semester onwards, they have agreed and accepted to do it freely because uh, they, they also are interested to transfer some of their technologies to the students. So they agreed to teach with us. So we are having a uh, mixed approach. What is that is good? What is that is going to benefit to the students? Uh, we are going to practice. We, are, we don't uh, need to follow rigidly uh, as it is being done in a public sector uh, institutes. So, the bringing a, a private person, all those things, uh, government permission is required, rules are there, everything will be there. But uh, here I can take a decision. As a dean, I can take a decision, quickly take approval on a phone and I can implement uh, any change. You are seeing this news has come only three days back. Yesterday we have implemented. Thank you, sir. Th thank you very much, uh, Nandir, sir. Thank you. Uh, now, the, the question is for. Uh, uh, Murthy, sir. So most of the times, if somebody is prepared for medicine, you know, it's very hard to convince the parents to convince the student or student to convince the parents to go for other courses. Like as, even though you said that there are n number of courses that are available, they may be pursuing B.S. Agriculture Sciences first year, B.Pharmacy or PharmD or um, whatever Irish courses or dental, forestry, fisheries, and all. Still for. Uh, uh, half semester, their minds are still uh, not getting convinced. Uh, how do you suggest to work on this uh, uh, attachment towards a passion, towards a course? Because 
uh, they have a lot of peer pressure also because from parents, from students and relatives, society, somehow more in South India, I feel. Could you please answer this, sir? Yes. So actually, the, 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 this was true, but now I think whether the gradually the mindset of most of the children as well as the parents is uh, pretty changed. The reason for it is like uh, when you want to help, say that they want to get at any cost and a base. Because what they used to do is like a first law, second law, third law, like that they are doing. So let us assume after two long terms or after three long terms, they are, they are obtaining the seat. So even after that, after completion of the five and a half years of course, just they are getting an MBBS degree. Really speaking in the other way, an MBBS degree means it's almost uh, equivalent to a senior nurse or maybe slightly less than that also in most of the cases. Just with ordinary MBBS, the children cannot do anything. So they have to go for the post addition as well as the super speciality. So that means still six more years they need to do. So intermediate intermediate five and a half years ago, five and a half years ago, six months or one year after six years and you have to do it again. I think almost they have reached the level of uh, normal uh, education level. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, uh, Dr. Rajesh, uh, you have to say something to that. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you. 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 Thank ఈ మధ్య కాలంలో ఎక్కువ మంది ఎవరైతే డాక్టర్స్ పీజీకి వెళ్ళినారో సూపర్ స్పెషాలిటీకి వెళ్తున్నారో వాళ్ళు ఏది రిపీటెడ్ గా లాక్ అప్ తీసుకునే వెళ్ళిన వాళ్ళు వీ మేడ్ ఎస్టేక్ దట్ అట్లీస్ట్ ఇమీడియట్లీ ఆఫ్టర్ దట్ వీ మెట్ హెవ్ టేకెన్ సమ్ అదర్ చాయిస్ సో దట్ వీ కుడ్ హ్యావ్ సెటిల్ ఇన్ లైఫ్ ఇన్ ఎ ప్రాపర్ వే మన దగ్గర చాలా మంది అభిప్రాయం సో అది ఉంది కాబట్టి ఇప్పుడు కూడా చెప్తున్నది వీళ్ళకి ఎస్ డైరెక్ట్ విత్ ఇంటర్మీడియట్ ఆర్ విత్ ఫస్ట్ అటెంప్ట్ వాళ్ళ డ్రీమ్ వచ్చినప్పుడు అటు వెళ్ళగలిగితే బాగుంటుంది కానీ అలా కాకుండా కంటిన్యూస్ టూ త్రీ ఇయర్స్ మనం చేసుకుని వెళ్ళడం వల్ల నష్టం అలాగే మీరు అన్నారు ఒక సెమిస్టర్ అయ్యేంత వరకు ఇంకా దాని గురించి బయట రావట్లేదు అని చెప్పారు సో నా ఉద్దేశం ఒకసారి అది కాదు అనుకుని ఇంకో దాంట్లో చేరిన తర్వాత డే వన్ ఏ స్టూడెంట్ నా కెరీర్ ఆప్షన్ ఇది ఎందుకంటే మళ్ళీ ఇక్కడ కూడా ఇంకొక ప్రాబ్లం ఉంది దీంట్లో కూడా ఫస్ట్ ఫైవ్ పర్సెంట్ ఫస్ట్ సిక్స్ పర్సెంట్ లో ఉంటేనే రేపు మళ్ళీ నాకు ఆపర్చునిటీస్ బెటర్ అవుతాయి కాబట్టి ఆ మైండ్ సెట్ ఏర్పరచుకోగలిగితే అంటే నేను ఏ కోర్స్ అయితే తీసుకుంటున్నానో దానిలో ఎంత త్వరగా నేను సెటిల్ అవుతాను అంత త్వరగా ఫర్దర్ గా బయటకు వెళ్ళినా కూడా నాకు బెటర్ ఆపర్చునిటీస్ ఉంటాయి అనే మైండ్ సెట్ తో చేయి వెళ్ళగలిగినప్పుడు బెటర్ ఉంటుంది కానీ ఈ మధ్య కాలంలో చాలా మంది చిల్డ్రన్ ఆ మైండ్ సెట్ తోనే ట్రావెల్ చేస్తారు and especially the 5% is triggering everyone's minds now i am there in the 5% or not is very important thank you sir anek options ni e vidhanga manu enchukovali e amshalu unnay ane amsham paina you gave a lot of clarity and last before we conclude sir last question is ee inni careers lo na naaku e career suitable avutundi ane oka student tu adigithe manu ela suggest cheyagalam sir ippudu meer annaru మెడిసిన్ ఒకటి రెండోది డెంటల్ తర్వాత ఆయుష్ తర్వాత ఫారెస్ట్రీ ఫిషరీస్ వెటనరీ అగ్రికల్చర్ సైన్సెస్ హార్టికల్చర్ ద లిస్ట్ గోస్ ఆన్ నాకు ఆ ఏ కోర్స్ చేస్తే బాగుంటుందని నేను ఎలా డిసైడ్ చేసుకోవాలి అని క్వశ్చన్ అడిగితే హౌ కెన్ వి ఆన్సర్ దాట్ సార్ దానికి బేసిక్ గా మనకి లేదు కానీ సార్ ఇప్పుడు టెన్త్ క్లాస్ సందర్భంలో లేదా ఇంటర్మీడియట్ చేసినప్పుడైనా ఐ థింక్ ఇట్స్ బెటర్ ఇఫ్ యూ కెన్ రన్ సైకోమెట్రిక్ అనాలిసిస్ once if we can make the psychometric analysis with the child then it will be better to take a decision based on those lines so general ga ee atla kaakunda vachi most of the cases if by pc lo pochina kuda em anipinte nenu doctor ni kaalaka poyanu kabatti na papa na baba doctor kavalana aa pressure valla ekku mandi chaal chestunnadi so ala kaakunda kachithanga aa student interest ye vai undi అట్లీస్ట్ డ్యూరింగ్ ది ప్లస్ వన్ ప్లస్ టూ స్టేజ్ లో అయినా సరే అది ఐడెంటిఫై చేసుకుని అటు డ్రైవ్ చేయగలిగితే వీళ్ళు ఆపర్చునిటీస్ బెటర్ అవుతాయి కానీ అంటే ఆ సైకోమెట్రిక్ అనాలిసిస్ చేసుకుని వెళ్ళగలిగితే అలా కాకుండా నా సామర్థ్యం ఏంటి లేదా నాకున్న స్ట్రెంగ్త్ ఏంటి అనేది ఎప్పుడైనా కూడా ఎవరైనా బాగా సక్సెస్ కావాలని చెప్పారంటే నాకున్న పాజిటివ్ ని లేక నాకు ఏవైపోతే ఇంట్రెస్ట్ ఉందో అది నేను ప్యాషన్ గా మార్చుకోగలిగితే ఐ థింక్ ఐ కెన్ ఎక్సెల్ ఇన్ ది ప్రొఫెషన్ సో అలా కాకుండా నాకు ఇంట్రెస్ట్ లేని ఏరియాస్ వైపు నన్ను పోకే పుష్ చేయటం వల్ల ఐ థింక్ ఆల్వేస్ ఐ విల్ ట్రై టు మేక్ ది బ్లేమ్ గేమ్ 
దట్ ఈస్ అంటే చేంజ్ సైకాలజీలో ఖచ్చితంగా వాళ్ళు చేయబోయేది ఏంటి అని చెప్పారంటే మీరు ఎప్పుడైతే ప్రెషర్ పిచ్ చేశారో ఆ బ్లేమ్ గేమ్ ఆడుతూ కూర్చుంటారు రేపించి ఖచ్చితంగా నా ఓరియంటేషన్ పెట్టే అని పెట్టారు కాబట్టి ఇప్పుడైనా మనకి చూసుకోవాల్సింది ఏంటి అని చెప్పారంటే లైక్ ఎంబీబీఎస్ వెళ్ళాలి అని చెప్పారంటే ఐ థింక్ రైతర్ మనం ఒక్కసారి ఆ చైల్డ్తో మనం ఒక పది పది నిమిషాలు ఇంటరాక్ట్ అయినా కూడా వాట్ ఈస్ దేర్ స్ట్రాంగ్ డిజైర్ అనేది మనకు అర్థం చేసుకోగలం కాబట్టి అదే కూడా బేస్డ్ ఆన్ దిట్స్ ఐ థింక్ ఇఫ్ యూ కెన్ డ్రైవ్ దెమ్ టువర్డ్స్ దట్ పర్టికులర్ ఏరియా డెఫినెట్ దట్ గోయింగ్ టు గివ్ ఏ బెటర్ సొల్యూషన్ థ్యాంక్ యూ మూర్తి సార్ థ్యాంక్ యూ వెరీ మచ్ సో బ్లేమ్ గేమ్ డజంట్ వర్క్ అవుట్ ఓనింగ్ ద రెస్పాన్సిబిలిటీ ఓన్లీ వర్క్స్ అవుట్ దట్స్ వాట్ యూ గేవ్ క్లారిటీ అట్ ది ఎండ్ Uh, and uh, thank you very much sir, for every uh, parent over here and the students who made the time to listen to our uh, experts murthy sir and narendra sir who has given lot of clarity what courses are available and how you can take a call on that and how you can make your career and make your life successful happy because this decision making makes lot of difference in your life so we say that mad make a difference decision making based upon your passion skill set and available and i'm sure that this session made you to know about what are the career prospects available for the intermediate student to finish their bpc and waiting to exercise their options so i thank uh, once again our today's uh, guest speaker muthi sir who has uh, given us the time and he has given explanation based on the data how many colleges how many seats how many courses and i'm sure that i request all the viewers to go through this is available on youtube you can go through and just check and take an informed decision i also thank nanred sir dean school of uh, uh, agriculture sciences who has given in depth knowledge about the courses and new technologies and what anurag university is doing to make the students flourish and be successful and uh, there are many jobs available not only in government but also uh, private sector also thank our uh, Uh, manohar sir madan sir tara singh all our admission counseling team and uh, agriculture faculties and uh, one and all for making your time and making this uh, event successful thank you very much we on behalf of andhra university you welcome any time to the andhra university if you have any queries related to bsc agriculture sciences and uh, narendra sir is available and we'll uh, arrange a, a field visit you can go to the fields you can go to the labs in the college and you can see seeing is believing so we can come down at any point of time you are welcome to anurag university to join bs agriculture sciences courses thank you thank you very much have a nice time thank you this is short video is there that will be played now thank you sir thank you very much murthy sir thanks a lot there are the glimpses of the class uh, at uh, agriculture university campus fields where students work students have worked on these fields there are the working in the labs first batch students working in the labs the field uh, inspection where uh, there also again in the labs and also there are some training programs happening at agriculture university recently they had uh, a ncc uh, camp happened over there at agriculture uh, sciences uh, campus batkama event the polios uh, at the campus a uh, vice chancellor register ma'am and dean nanred sir there's a field extension study where uh, 
uh, our uh, faculty are also training the uh, government employees and private organizations at the campus. Shrey, uh, the faculty who is explaining about the experiment. Recent uh, celebrations, Independence Day celebrations. It's all uh, doing is learning, you know, learning by doing. They're relaxing with playing the chess and all. Our uh, chairman, Dr. Pallar Ayeshwari, sir. The training program for the input dealers. The general personal development training program. NSS uh, program. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot. Thank you for your good work, sir. Uh, give a round of applause for the agricultural science uh, team. Thank you very much. Thank you, everyone. Have a nice time. I wish all the viewers all the best for your career. Thank you. All the best.